The latest expansion for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is finally here. That's right, today we're talking about none other than Temporal Forces. I've really been looking forward to this set because this is the first English expansion to actually feature some of the new ancient and future type legendary paradox Pokemon. Today we're ripping into an entire booster box that's 36 packs, 36 chances to pull some of the new special illustration rare ancient types like the Walking Wake, Gouging Fire, and the Raging Bolts, as well as SIRs of the new future type Pokemon like the Iron Boulder, Iron Leaves, and Iron Crown. I'm not gonna lie, some of these names are pretty ridiculous, but the artworks on these are incredible. But let's say you're not really interested in these new Pokemon. Let's say you're more interested in collecting the trainers. For you, Temporal Forces has some special illustration rares of the new Generation 9 Team Star Leader from Scarlet and Violet, Airy, which looks absolutely incredible. And we also have this really nice, interesting artwork of Instructor Salvatore from Gen 9. But then we have a very interesting throwback to the black and white era with Bianca's devotion. And you already know that here on the channel, we love to see some ghost Pokemon getting love, getting some spotlight. Temporal Forces also time traveled all the way back to Generation 2 to resurrect the ghost type gym leader with the Morty's Conviction Special Illustration Rare, which features none other than your boy Gengar. But I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit upset about not getting a Haunter Illustration Rare in this set. We got a Ghastly and we got a Gengar. Where is the Haunter? Why did you leave Haunter out? I don't understand. Whatever, I'm gonna work it out with my therapist. Whew, I cannot wait to rip into this box right here. The pull rates seem to be really, really good. The artworks are incredible. We're gonna have some fun today. But first, I'm gonna give a massive Fangang, shout out to some of the recent giveaway winners, Nevercold808, Xreap 9956, and most recently, Epithet Jingles, who has not claimed the giveaway yet. So if you're watching this video right now, go down in the description, check out the instructions, to claim your prize before the expiration date. Otherwise, it gets paid forward to the next giveaway winner. And last but not least, if you want to enter today's giveaway for a chance to win 10 packs of Temporal Forces, going out to one lucky member in the Fangang, all you have to do to enter is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to join the Fangang, and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite character design of these new ancient and future type Pokemon? Best of luck, fan gang. And in case you have no idea who I am or what is going on, settle in for some pack rips and chill vibes. My name is Pokey Fang, and welcome to the Fang Gang. Boom, baby. Temporal Forces is finally here. Uh, March 22nd, 2024 is the release date of Temporal Forces. I'm opening this up a uh, day or two before I got these boxes from XP Collect. You guys already know on the channel here, uh, XP Collect has excellent deals, excellent selection. They're a physical brick and mortar. You don't have to worry about getting scammed or anything like that. Definitely check them out if you are looking for some TCG product and some great deals. Links uh, down in the description if you want to get 5% off. But enough of that. Temporal Forces is here. This is our first time getting these new special illustration rares of the new legendary uh, Paradox Pokemon. So obviously we have Walking Wake, one of my favorites on the pack art there. Raging Bolt is amazing. Honestly, like the Iron Leaves, I think is a sleeper. I think it might be one of the most valuable cards in the set, this, the SIR of this. And uh, this is the Iron Crown, which I did actually get in Japanese. Uh, here on the channel about a month ago, we actually opened up Temporal Forces early uh, by opening up Wild Force and Cyber Judge, which were the two Japanese sets that make up Temporal Forces. So super awesome video. Uh, reception on that was incredible. If you guys want to see more Japanese openings ahead of English releases, we can get a preview of some of the artworks. If you guys are interested in seeing some of the new artworks for upcoming sets before the release, uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll continue to open up the Japanese sets as they come out so we can get a sneak peek of the new upcoming sets. The next one is going to be uh, Crimson Haze, which I think will be making up some of Twilight Masquerade, which should be coming out pretty soon in the next couple months, I think. I don't remember the release date exactly, but let's go ahead and get into some of these packs. I'm actually just going to take all these packs out of the box because it's just too much to try and keep this box on the screen. We'll do a little action like that, and we're going to get right into these packs, guys. Super excited. So like I said, let me know if you want to see more sets opened up early. Code cards are, of course, going out to the fan gang all throughout the video. There is a incredible full art Gengar in this set. There's a, actually a couple of Gengar and Ghastly artworks in here. They left my boy Haunter out in the cold, though. We got Darkness Energy to start. Don't know why I didn't guess it, but let's check out some of the common and uncommon artworks in this set. And then hopefully we can get some first pack magic. We got the Wiglet, Arbok, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Treads, uh, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Okay, weird. Victini Reverse. 
Another ancient booster energy capsule reverse this time. I love the way that these ancient and future type uh, reverses look. They're so nice. And no first pack match. We got a Mel Metal, regular hollow. Uh, what did you guys think of the B roll? In the beginning of the video, I got some, I got, you know, a little spicy. I felt like doing something interesting. I uh, got a little fog machine going on and uh, made that. So that wasn't visual effects. That was all just like regular practical effects. Uh, let's go with psychic energy on the second pack here. Touch grass energy is what we ended up with. We got deerling, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that intro. I had a lot of fun doing it, uh, but it did take a bunch of different tries and a bunch of trial and error. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate the energy I put into that. Iron Hands Rescue Board and let me know and I'll keep I'll keep trying to mix it up with these with these intros. Bianca's Devotion which uh, has a special illustration wear in this set which is incredible. Ooh, second pack Magic the Iron Boulder EX is from what I remember from what I've seen online at least on Instagram and stuff the pull rates on the golds in this set are actually pretty tough and we have the Iron Valiant. Now, let's see. Iron Boulder does not appear to have that weird error where there's like a little nick in the top of the card, but you can actually see it here on this Iron Valiant. Most of the hits uh, in the hollow slots or the reverse slots that I've gotten throughout the entire Scarlet and Violet era have for some reason had that one little notch in the card right there, which makes it instantly not going to be a PSA 10. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and sleeve this up in a nice Voltex sleeve. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this in a Voltex semi rigid as well. But real quick, I want to get a nice close look at this iron boulder. There we go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way that the edges on the gold artworks are actually like slightly raised. I think I pointed it out in one of my recent videos, but uh, they did keep that up with these new gold cards. I feel like golds are the new rainbows where you either really, really love them or you don't like them at all. And I think the values of the gold cards have been pretty low, if I remember correctly, from these new Scarlet and Violet sets. Not sure why that is. I think overall, there's just a dip in the market right now. I think Scarlet and Violet is still just a little bit too new uh, for anybody to get like super into it. And it's, and it's pretty different from Sword and Shield. So I don't blame people for being a little bit freaked out by how you know, sort of back to basics, some of it is. Uh, code card going out to the fan gang. Again, all throughout the video, guys. So uh, if you're here for the codes, stick around to the end. I'll let you know when they're all done so you can head out. All right, we've got Psychic Energy now. Punchy's Energy. All right, Rock Ruff, starting off with the Rock Ruff. Litten, Shroomish, Lickitung, Sableye. We got Great Tusk. Morty's Conviction, not the one we're looking for though. We are looking for that one with the Gengar in it, the special illustration rare. We got the Beldum. Oh, Zorora. And a Bramble Ghast. Not a ghost type, technically, just a grass type, but it's definitely like a, a haunted tumbleweed of some kind. All right, code card going out to the Fang Gang. Let's go Metal Energy. Of course, now I didn't, the time I didn't call psychic we finally get the psychic all right all right maybe next time we did get some really good luck in uh, one of the recent videos that i did it seemed like we got like 50 percent of the predictions were correct future booster energy capsule grub in reverse a reverse buddy buddy poffin and the iron thorns now is that the same artwork at least it looks like the same artwork and the same pose as the iron thorns a promo card that comes with the new ETBs. The new, um, I actually have them right over here. We're gonna be recording that video right after this. And uh, that should be coming out separately. It's just way too much to open in one video. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Metal type energy now. Oh, drip energy, okay, fine. Fine, we'll use it for our Finizen. Dunsparce, Snom, Pikachu. Guys, this Pikachu, when I pulled this out of whichever it was, Cyber Judge or, um, Wild Force, this just hits so nice. It's reminding me of the new Growlithe coming out, the Hisuian Growlithe that belongs to Perrin. If you guys played the expansions on Scarlet and Violet, uh, where the, the card artwork itself is a POV shot from the photographer uh, Perrin. 
And uh, some of the cards in a lot of these new sets are seemingly looking more and more like photographs or simulated photographs. And I really love that artwork as a former photographer myself. So uh, the new set Crimson Haze has some Perrin love in it and some photography love in it. So definitely super excited about those coming up in the future. Roselia, Bolton, and that Mel Metal again. All right, we're only gonna open a couple more packs. Uh, the slow rolling kind of way. We're getting through most of the commons and uncommons so you guys can see the artworks on those because it is a brand new set. And uh, we obviously want to take time to appreciate all the artworks of the commons and uncommons because a lot of them are good enough to be full arts. All right, here we go. We're going to go fire type. Oh, my. All right, fine. Giraffe egg. We're just, we're just not going to be, not going to be getting them today. But at least I don't think there's any wiggly tufts in this set, but... Every set has its wiggly tub, if you know what I mean. Every set has that one card that you cannot seem to get away from, but at least there won't be wiggly tufts. Future booster energy capsule, reverse, Solosis, and a relicanth fossil fish situation. All right, very nice. Loving the artworks on this set. So far, we've only gotten one pull though. I haven't been keeping track of how many packs we are in. So hopefully you guys are keeping track along at home. Uh, I want to say it's like five or six packs so far. Darkness. Yes. We got to do it. Got to do it. We might not get any more uh, in this video of the way things have been going. Meditite, Tutanita, Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Sandy Shocks, Hand Trimmer. Use this on my beard. It's a little long. Rabska, Iron Hand Reverse. Fin is in and Iron Leaves, okay. Not 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 a big hit, but Iron Leaves EX, we'll take it. There we go, let's get, get the vault -X sleeve, not the semi-rigid though. We're not doing semi-rigids on the double rares, um, unless it is an ace spec card. Those are also back, guys. We need to talk about that. Time out, we need to talk about ace spec cards. We need to talk about Bianca and, um, and even Morty. I think Morty was around in Gen 2 but also in black and white era. So I think a lot of these things seem to be hinting at black and white, which I think is very cool. Uh, we might be getting some black and white in the uh, in the games, you know, the actual games for Switch or Switch 2, whatever's out at the time. All right, let's go with Psychic now. Mm, another electric energy, that's all right. Electric or lightning, what do you guys say? Just don't, whatever you do, don't say lemon energy. Skitty, oh man, that's a cute skitty right there. All for family. I think Mousehold. Somebody, yeah, was it Mousehold had that same move, Call for Family, uh, in a recent set? I feel like I've seen that pretty recently. Run Runiclus? I think I know how to say this one. Ru 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 Reuniclus. Reuniclus? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, Mincino. There is a uh, Cinchino Mincino artwork in this set that, that you can put the two illustration rares together, I think, and, uh, and uh, combine them into a single. Artwork, Roaring Moon, regular hollow. Uh, but we haven't seen any illustration rares yet. We got a nice hyper rare or secret rare. I never know what to call these things anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like spend an entire day just doing like flashcards so I can uh, remember what the, the new rarities are. All right, here we go. Psychic again. <sighs> grass type, touch grass. Back to reality, Scyther for the grass energy. Meryl. Golet, Bronzong, Exterminate, Exadrill, Screamtail. Why does it just look like it's like throwing a tantrum? And it has that bump hairstyle. Do you guys remember in like the 2000s, it was like really trendy to have this like the bump, the like, I don't, I don't even know what it was. It was like the Tumblr era, little bump hairstyle that people were doing for a while. Licky Licky, Excadrill, and a Whimsicott. All right, that is it. We need to start moving faster because we've only got two pulls so far. These are supposed to have really good pull rates. I don't know what's going on with that. Code card going out for the fan gang. Darkness Energy, fire. Okay, fuego, fuego. And we're gonna one, two, three to the fronts because we're doing the pack trick now. Boom, we have a Great Tusk, reverse, Full Metal Lab. Interesting, Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Jacket, Full Metal Lab. Followed by a Dedun Sparse Hollow. 
next pack. We're not even, I don't think we're halfway done with this yet. Uh, let me know guys if you have gone out today, if everybody is stocked up, Walmart, Target, whatever. Uh, I know that they tend to uh, accidentally stock things early, so I have seen, seen a good amount of people opening things up early, but I prefer to get my packs from an LGS or a local collect, uh, collection store. Uh, those seem to be the best place to get these products because they have distribution deals and uh, they will fluctuate market prices and things like that. So a lot of times you can get better deals at a local store than you can at a big box store, especially Target I know has been raising the prices on Pokemon like crazy above MSRP. So definitely try to shop local. All right, Psychic Energy, no, Drip Energy. And one, two, three to the front. Yamper Reverse, Chatot, and a Drampa. There is a new character in Pokemon Horizons on Netflix, the new anime season, which I actually really enjoyed. There's 12 episodes so far. I think I got through those. Seems like they might do them in sections again, uh, like they did with Journeys and Master Journeys and all that jazz. There we go. Code card going out to Fan Gang. Let's go with Psychic again. Darkness. Okay. One, two, three. But there's a character that looks like this Drampa. I don't know if it's going to come into play in the show, but he literally like has the exact same coloring and the hair and everything as a Drampa, which is just so weird. Like it doesn't even look normal as a person. Is that for real right now? Are we? All right. Well, doubling up on the Drampas. Back to back Drampas. Okay. Code card going out to the fan gang. It's I feel like it's been a while since the last set dropped, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I've just been very sporadic with how I've been uploading my YouTube videos. I want to be more consistent, but it's so hard, guys. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I don't do this for the money. There barely is any. It just basically the money that comes in from YouTube goes straight towards the giveaways. And my day job is what supports my uh passion here. And that has been taking up a good amount of my time, my energy and my, my mental capacity for stress in general. Toracats, I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Bramblegast. Oh, and our first ultra rare, I think, right? Yeah, this is our first ultra rare. Explorer's Guidance, ancient type, very interesting. Number 200 of 162. Look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand, discard the other cards. All right, not bad. Seems slightly playable. I think there's other similar cards that can do something like that. It's basically just like a reshuffling sort of mechanic, but that is really nice artwork. If I didn't know better, I'd think that is a significant character, but sometimes they just have people in here that are like workers or whatever. Um, we are going to put this one because it is a full art or ultra rare. We are going to put that in a nice cozy little vault -X. So we've captured that one. I like to imagine that us opening packs is like walking around in the wild, right? Like you don't know where you're going to bump into and then you have an encounter with something you really want to capture and then you, you sleeve it up and you capture it, put it in your in your storage, in your box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. All right. It's like we have to get psychic again. <sighs> Touch of grass. It's like they're telling me every time to just get real, bro. It's not going to be psychic. Metagross. Latias and an Iron Crown EX Ultra Rare. Double back to back. I don't know why I said double back to back. Double slash back to back. Uh, Ultra Rare hits right there. One trainer, one Pokemon. And I really love the way the colors pop on these new uh, Ultra Rares. I don't know how they did it, but it just seems like these are just so much more vibrant and interesting than the ones that we had in Sword and Shield. If you don't believe me, go back and look at some of the ultra rares or some of the full art Pokemon cards in Sword and Shield. They do not hit like this, guys. I'm telling you right now, we are in an excellent time in the Pokemon TCG collecting uh, timeline here because just not a ton of demand. Packs are pretty accessible and affordable and the hits are absolutely stunning. It's a great time. Great, great, great time. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang, of course. Psychic energy, finally. Darkness energy. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, guys. I'm actually kind of missing the Wigglytuff action. 
I don't know, I don't know why, but I feel like, oh, Iron Crown EX, not bad. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm enjoyed the, the aspect of knowing that there was a card I might pull and uh, it would just ruin my day. I don't know why. I'm just masochistic in that way that I would want to potentially pull a card that would upset me, but it made it a little bit more fun. So hopefully we get some, some little troll card that we end up seeing in this set as well. We will be opening up plenty more of this on the channel in the future. All right, uh, and we're gonna go with Metal Energy. I had a feeling it was, that was gonna be Psychic, because I guessed it the last couple, and that happens all the time. All right, oh yeah, Punchy's Energy. <laughs> Almost forgot, Almost forgot. We got a Palafin Reverse, a Carvana Reverse, and the Iron Thorns Hollow again. I think we're about halfway, maybe more than halfway, through this box. So far, only four hits, which means the back half of this box has to be loaded. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Apologies if my camera goes in and out of focus for some reason it's been happening lately. I don't know. I didn't change anything, but it's just been happening. Um, Psychic Energy, finally. Oh, metal. All right, I was one away on that one. Flipping these over. All right, guys, so you know I mentioned earlier that there was the idea of learning about new sets that are upcoming by opening up Japanese here on the channel. I've been having a lot of fun doing that. I've also been trying to learn Japanese. It's gonna take me a couple of years probably before I can actually speak Japanese, but I have been learning it uh, on Duolingo, not sponsored, but I've been having an absolute blast with that. And if you want to hear more about upcoming sets, upcoming artworks, things like that ahead of releases, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I have an entirely new series coming out. This is the first time you're hearing about it. And uh, it's called Unpacked, Pokefang Unpacked. We're gonna have some guests on the show from LGS's distribution, uh, other Poketubers, spe you know, special guests who, feed, who are uh, more involved in the video game side of things. And we're gonna be talking about all things Pokemon. And uh, occasionally there'll be just some that are uh, regular set updates as we learn more things about upcoming sets. So if you're interested in that, in addition to pack openings, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and we got a Relicanth, and there we go. We got a Walking Wake EX, so we got three out of the six, I think all six of the uh, legendaries have an EX in this set. I'm actually not entirely sure about that, but it would make sense that they would do that. But we've only got some sort of like mid-level hits right now from this box. There we go, code cards going out to the Fang Gang. We have got, of course, Psychic Energy, Fuego, Miss Pokefang's favorite, Fuego, Fuego Energy. All right, Mel Metal, Reverse Rare, followed by that Salvatore, not the Special Illustration Rare Salvatore, just their regular guy in the Maridon, which is, uh, I guess because it's Dragon type is why obviously the card is this color, but it seems weird that it's a future type Pokemon and it has sort of that brown background that we're used to seeing for ancient types. So it's kind of funny that it ended up being uh, a dragon type instead of a uh, electric type. But let's go ahead and get into this next pack. We are at, of course, the time for Psychic to show up again. Nope, which means it's gonna be the next pack. Next pack, let's let's call it now. Let's say it's gonna be the next pack. Drillbur, Cinchino, and a Relicanth Hollow. No dice on that one. And uh, apologies guys if the editing on this video is a bit mid. I'm trying to get this one out as quickly as possible so that I can be on schedule with release day. And uh, it might be later in the day when this comes out, but hopefully I catch you over the weekend and uh, we can have some fun opening packs. Maybe you guys open them up at home. Uh, we said it was gonna be this one, so psychic. We did it, baby. Are we good at this or what? Gotta celebrate. Celebrate small victories, you guys. Uh, that is the key to happiness, okay? Do something small, but it was a win. Celebrate that W. Count them up. Maridon, Reverse Rare. Heavy Baton. And a Feraligator. Nice. A little bit of Gen 2 love right there. And uh, my, my... Literally, everything's falling over over here, so I'm just gonna stack these up in the middle. Two golds. One full art, three regular double rare EXs, and we are moving on. There has to be something good in this box. I know it, and it, I also know that it has to be water energy. 
No, we made steam. We got a little Volcanion action going on. All right, Marill. Pika Blue. There we go. Now we're talking Ghastly Illustration Rare. Very nice. So this is the Ghastly Illustration Rare, obviously. Slightly off center. Not stoked about that. But uh, it is the only card besides a regular, I think, common, or I guess an uncommon, uh, Haunter that is in this set. I can't believe they did an Illustration Rare for Ghastly and then a full art for Gengar. And Gengar is featured in a special Illustration Rare and they just left out my boy Haunter, the best Pokemon of that evolution line, in my personal opinion. I don't know, at me in the comments, guys. I personally, I think Haunter is way cooler than Gengar. I obviously love Gengar too and Ghastly, but I just can't believe that they, they left my boy out, left him out in the cold, just messed up, given the story behind Gengar, which we all know will just ruin your day if you watch that. That and the episode of uh, Futurama with the dog. Those epi those two episodes are like the only two cartoon episodes I think that have literally made me cry like a baby. And uh, if you think that's lame, I don't know what to tell you. You are soulless. Everybody knows. Everybody knows how sad those episodes are. Okay. It's gonna be water energy now, right? Punchy's energy. One, two, three to the front. I'm having fun opening up Temporal Forces. I hope you guys are having fun at home. Shaman, send a Scorch, the Dun Sparse. All right, well, be more fun if we can get some special illustration rares here today. I really want to see, especially one of the ancient types. Those are my favorite. Walking Wake, I think, is my favorite design out of all of them. Uh, I think I asked in the intro for you guys to comment down below. So if you haven't already, make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, what your favorite design is out of the six new legendary paradoxes. Um, is, is it paradoxes? Paradise? I don't know. Either way, metal energy. Yes. <laughs> Gotta do it. One, two, three, front. All righty then. Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Wow. That barely fits on the card. And I think that there's a special illustration here of this one. Or illustration rare maybe a full art i don't know no i think it's an ultra rare yes it's an ultra rare it's not a special illustration rare scratch that from the record cypher maniacs code breaking haunter reverse very nice uh if you guys win the giveaway i will sign a haunter or ghastly or mimikyu or something like that and i'll include it in the giveaway every giveaway winner gets an auto from me uh that is just a given so make sure to enter even if you don't want the packs Boom, Wug Trio EX, very nice. Terraform, so we get that nice, beautiful, shiny texture on there. And then we got the Hanger Gang. And uh, there we go, Wug Trio EX. So, man, I think um, in the upcoming set, I don't know if it's gonna be in Twilight Masquerade. Maybe it is, yeah, I think it is actually, because Masquerade masks, we're gonna get Ogre Pond. So we're gonna get an Ogre Pond set uh, with the different mask forms of Ogre Pond, which is gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, if you have not gone and done the uh, the mask, what is it called? The teal mask and the indigo disc expansions on Scarlet and Violet, make sure you do that before the next set comes out or you're just really gonna feel lost. Um, here we go with all the new characters and Pokemon and stuff like that. So uh, darkness energy. No, lightning. He turned on the lights. Two, three. To the front. Electivire. Airy. Man, so close. The special illustration rare Airy is so cool. It's so, so cool. I really hope I'm able to pull that one. It's definitely going to be a chase card for me. And the Coridon. A nice little Victini. How cute that Victini is. I don't think I've actually... We hadn't seen that one. There's my boy Ghastly. Right there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more packs left. Can we do it, guys? I think twelve is a pretty strong number. Twelve packs left. We've got uh, four, five, six, seven hits so far. We should get double that in these next twelve packs. 
according to what I've been seeing for pull rates on this set. So that means this next little half right here of the video should be pretty stacked. All right, it's gonna be grass energy. Oh, metal, I feel like it's been a minute since we got grass though. Where is it? Where's the grass? Mist energy, hand trimmer, and a Coridon. All right, Elgem with a move that does absolutely nothing. Hold on a second here. I gotta, it does nothing. Hide, no damage. Flip a coin if heads during your opponent's next turn prevents all damage and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. I mean, how much do you really wanna be protecting this Pokemon? That's the weird part. All right, code card going out to the fan gang. Awesome, let me, let me know guys down below if you are able to uh, redeem those codes today and have a good time with them and let me know if you pull anything epic. Grass energy, finally. Yes. All right, we're getting better. Getting better at predicting these energies. And uh, one, two, three, to the front, Mudbray. Oh, the Iron Jugulus and the Iron Valiant. Is that the same Iron Valiant we had in Paradox Rift? Looks really similar. It's another really epic set right there, guys. Paradox Rift and Paldea Evolved are so good. There we go. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. And... Oh, almost forgot to do the energy. Let's go with fire. We're getting good. We're getting good. Get good, as they say. One, two, three. And uh, some of you guys might be thinking, how's he doing that? He must have some kind of trick. Nope, just guessing. Just guessing based on uh, when the last time we pulled something was, if it's been a while or not. Boxed order, Ravska, or maybe I have psychic powers. Maybe that's what it is, I have psychic powers. Let's go with that. That's a better story. Roaring Moon, I was bitten by a radioactive uh, ghost as a child and it's given me this clairvoyance where I can see into the pack and know what the the energy is going to be which is why this code card is going to go out the fan gang and we're going to pull a, a darkness energy next bro how sick would that have been I mean come on one two three to the front all right Coridon reverse oh a sandy shocks and Coridon EX. All right. So, slow moving on this box. What in the world is going on? These last couple packs here better be bangers. Because so far, aside from the Ghastly, I really didn't pull anything that I wanted to pull. Which means we're going to have to open up some more Temporal Forces on the channel in the future. One, two, three to the front. Let's go. Frostmoth. All right, guys, I usually wait to the last couple packs to ask this, but I'm gonna ask it early just because of the way things are going. Go ahead and smash that luck button. Looks like this, or this, this, you know what I mean. It's down below. Uh, to send some good luck goes the energy our way so we can pull something epic. All right, I'll give you a moment to do that. And let's get right back into it. Frost Moth, Fluttermane, Hollow. Did I, did I, did I mess up the pack trick? Did I mess up the pack trick? I did. I messed up the pack trick, which means we're going to do that. All right. So it's behind this Vicavolt. Vicavolt? Let me know how you guys say that. I have a feeling this one's going to be one of the better A spec cards that I really wanted to pull because I saw the first letter of it. You guys probably saw it too. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, it is. We have our ace spec card from this box. We should be getting about one to two ace specs per booster box. And we got the master ball. Yeah, buddy. Now we're talking. I absolutely love this card. I love that the master ball's color palette works with the ace specs. And uh, ace specs have been gone, gone, gone since I think black and white. Uh, that one was in electric energy, if you guessed that at home. And uh, they're back now. So lots of things are back from black and white era, which is very cool. It means we might be seeing more of that sort of thing happening in the games and in the TCG. There we go. Centering on it, 
is actually pretty darn good too. And that just looks so good. I love the colors on this. All right, this definitely has to go in a Vaultex semi-rigid. Boom, there we go. And uh, this is my favorite type of semi-rigid, guys. I'm not actually like technically sponsored or anything like that. I do have an affiliate code down in the uh, description, uh, but almost anybody could sign up for one of those. So it's really not like a, a brand partnership or anything, but if you do want to save a little bit of money on your Vaultex supplies uh, that I use for pretty much everything, uh, go ahead and use that code down in the description. Here we go. Uh, code card going out to the fan gang. It's gonna be the psychic now. Oh, metal energy. One, two, three. I feel like it's been a minute since I've done the metal energy horns right there. All right, Whimsicott, Reverse, Roserade, and a Feraligator Hollow. Down to our last one, two, three, four, five, six packs, guys. Hopefully you're having an amazing release weekend. You're going to maybe like your your local uh, gaming store and maybe you're playing in some competitions, you're building some new decks. Uh, if not, maybe you're just building out your binder, that kind of thing. I know that vault also just dropped the pre-orders on their um, new binders specifically for this set. They usually don't come out for like another month or two after the pre-orders happen. I really wish they would come out in time for the set. If you guys are listening. Um, because I like to build my binders right away. I don't like to have my cards sitting around for that long, but uh, let me know guys if you are building binders, doing anything like that uh, down in the comments. If you're new here, you should know that I do talk to people in the comments. So leave one if you want to chat. All right, darkness energy. Oh, touching grass again, one, two, three. Here we go, rescue board. Interesting looking rescue board there. It kind of reminds me of like, a Lego skateboard or something with like an extra piece on the front of it mixed with the hoverboard from Back to the Future. Oh, there we go. So this is what I was talking about. I did actually pull this in the Japanese set, either Cyber Judge or Wild Force. I can't remember which one it was. And we got a Mech Cargo Hollow. Set that aside for a second here. But this is what I was talking about earlier with the new artworks on here. I'm gonna have to keep track of what's going on with these because usually I don't like the CG or 3D rendered artworks, but this new style here or whatever, um, let's see if I can see, End Design Inc. is who made this one. But these look like photographs. There's depth of field there. These are out of focus. There's a bunch of new artworks that are coming out in the TCG that have that photography sort of style where it looks like they were shot with like a, an F1.8 or an F2.8 uh, lens to give it that nice shallow depth of field. It just looks real. It looks like a Pokemon in the real world. It's very cool because sometimes the designs of these Pokemon are so out there. Like Snom is a weird looking Pokemon that it makes sense as a cartoon, but then when you look at it in the real world, you're like, how does that make sense? It makes sense. This looks this looks like I could I could see this being a real thing. There's some weird animals out there in the world. All right, last couple packs, guys. Here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. Darkness energy. Drip. One, two, three. We're gonna start speed running now. Ponyta reverse. Mawile. And an ascent. Incineroar. Incineroar. Why did I mess that up so badly? Incineroar EX. Very nice. Four more packs to get an SIR. Let's see if we can do it. Code card. Lightning. Darkness. It's always the opposite with those two. One, two, three. To the front. Here we go. Scyther. Oh, there we go. There's a Minchino. That's the one I was mentioning before. It has a, uh, a little paired card for the Sinchino where you can put them together and they make up the full artwork. Fluttermane is our hollow. The cutie fly, there's an adorable, adorable cutie fly with that same photography style I mentioned with the snom. And do you guys say snom or snome? I feel like it should be snome because it's like snow and gnome, but I don't know, it could be snom. I have not actually seen it said out loud or heard it said out loud. I guess that would make more sense. Code card going out to the fan gang. We're gonna go with uh, 
darkness. Oh, punchies. One, two, three to the front. Just grab three already by accident. Tranquil. Runiclus. And the Drampa from earlier. Man, I wish I could remember the name of that character. It's going to drive me nuts. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Here we go. Because I already finished the show, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hear it again probably for a while. Whoa, oh, so didn't do it yet. I'm gonna say it's gonna be fire. Water. Steam again. Got steampunked again. Wait a minute. Did I did I mess up the pack trick again? Or was that Is it supposed to be in that slot? Is it supposed to be in the first reverse? We got a second, like I said, one to two per box. Ace spec reboot pod, I'll take it. Very nice. And Arbok and the, uh, what was the other one? Maridon. But very nice reboot pad. Another beautiful, beautiful looking um, Ace spec card. Very nice. All right, let's sleeve that boy up. He's also getting semi rigided. And we're down to our last pack guys last pack make sure to smash that luck button please subscribe to the fan gang if you haven't already we're a positive collecting community we're just fans of pokemon keep it positive over here no drama no nonsense code card going out to the fan gang just having fun enjoying the hobby we're gonna go with uh psychic energy on the last pack fuego fuego energy in the last pack we'll slow roll it oh all right guys again thank you so much if you made it this far in the video for sticking around open up packs with me i hope you guys are having an amazing weekend and having so much fun with this new set licky licky so much to look forward to on this channel i'll be doing lots more collaborations more regular content i'm still looking for an editor thought i found one but it didn't quite work out so i'm going to reach out to a couple new people and hopefully we can get some really fun stuff going so i can get more creative as opposed to spending so much time editing unpheasant Giraffe rig reverse. This is it, guys. This is it. Car coal. Nope. All right, guys. These are going to be my favorite two polls of today's video, the Ghastly and the Master Ball Ace spec. Thank you so much for sticking around open up packs with me. Make sure to check out these two videos right here. I'll catch you in the next one, Fang Gang. And as always, happy haunting.